On June 14, 1939, Mr. and Mrs. Hickson and their two kids, Harold and Charles, were camping at Medicine Bow River close to Elk Mountain of Wyoming. In the morning, Mr. Hickson decided to take his kids to a fishing trip not far from the camp. The three took a walk through a meadow into an area near Medicine Bow River. Mr. Hickson kept the boys behind him as they were walking very close to him. He was between water and the boys. Mr. Hickson left the boys for 20 minutes to work his way up and upstream to check the spot. The river was always on his side, but not the boys. When he came back, he couldn't find his sons. He immediately went to the campground, assuming the boy turned back and left, but he couldn't find them there. They searched for a while and then notified the law enforcement. Several hundred searchers came to the area and they had aerial support as well. At some point, three bloodhound dogs came to the scene and started tracking the scent up to a location higher in elevation than the spot the boys were last seen. The spot was so dangerous and thick that even the searchers had a hard time going through it. At some point during the search, they found some tracks belonging to small boys that they assumed must have belonged to Mr. Hickson's sons. Searchers continued looking for tracks and at some point they found only one set of tracks which showed one of the boys probably collapsed somewhere. Bloodhounds didn't find either boy and soon there was no tracks to follow. The Hickson boys were never found. On April 24, 1948, Gerald Terry Cook was playing outside the family residence close to Moosehead Lake located in the state of Maine. At 4 p.m., Mrs. Cook realized she couldn't find her son and started searching the area. Once Mrs. Cook realized she couldn't find Terry, she called the police and a search was started. One day after the incident, 200 searchers were scouring the woods and dragging the lake for Terry. At some point, Bloodhound dogs came to the scene and followed the scent to a lake indicating Terry might have gone to the lake. But Terry's mother said he is scared of water and he would not go inside. On April 26, two days after the boy went missing, the sheriff stated they found footprints on a seldom used road leading to a ridge. He claimed the body of the boy was on a rocky wooded blue ridge. They have expressed doubt that he could have survived. The blue ridge that the sheriff mentioned was 500 feet above lake level. On Tuesday, the condition went from freezing to snowing. After five days of searching, the effort was terminated. All of the searching amounted to nothing. The Cook family continued their informal search with friends and family for a while but they had no success. Gerald Terry Cook was never found. On August 12, 2011, a hiker came across partial body of Scott Stonewall Lily on Appalachian Trail in an area north of US Highway 60 and east of Blue Ridge Parkway of Virginia. The last time anybody saw Scott was late in July on a mountain called the Priest. The hikers who saw Scott said he was traveling alone with his gear. People who found the body reported to the police and they contacted FBI. The FBI didn't make any comments for many months. In April of 2012, the FBI held a press conference saying Scott was murdered and that they couldn't find any of his gear on the scene. 
During the presentation, they showed the pair of shoes which Scott had bought from Walmart prior to his departure. They confirmed he wasn't wearing any shoes when his dead body was found. Interesting enough, the spot they found the body was close to another missing case whose name was Otty Powell. The body of Otty was found eventually only 7 miles from the spot they found Scott's body. The missing shoes are a common phenomenon in missing cases. We will never know what happened to Scott Lilly. Thank you.